3, 4 y 5, Dire Straits han estado actuando en París dentro de esta gira de casi dos años que les llevará a España el próximo mes de mayo. Y hemos estado aquí para ver cómo comenzaban esos conciertos y para charlar con Johnny Slee, Hi, hello, que es el bajista del grupo y que es además uno de los fundadores de eh, Dire Straits junto con Mark Knopfler. Hello, how are you? Estamos en la sala de juegos, él es muy aficionado. ¿Sueles jugar al ping-pong? ¿Antes del concierto? Después de tantos años haciendo giras, ¿sigue resultando excitante? And a um, pedal steel guitar player, and you know, and a new drummer. Mm -hmm. So it's it's always different. Después de seis años sin grabar en estudio, ¿cuándo y por qué decidisteis hacer este disco? Bueno, fue realmente una decisión basada en una conversación que Mark y yo teníamos hace un año y medio, supongo. Estábamos teniendo una cena en algún lugar y él solo dijo que no se pensaba en otro disco. Pensé que eso era todo, no pensé que quería hacer más. Y él dijo, And he said, well, I've got these songs and all the rest of it, and uh, it would be nice to do another record. So I said, sure, if you've got enough songs. He said, I've got loads of songs. So. Mm. And he wanted to do it very simply in the studio. Yeah. As it turned out, it took nine months, but... Mm. But don't you go in here, it's because of fame. You gotta tell him, you're still the man. Long distance, baby, so far from home. Don't you think maybe you could put him out? Tell him I was called. Wish him well. Let me leave my number. I'll break hotel. Hay algo muy clásico, muy personal en el estilo de Dire Straits. Very. Well, it's our style. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's our style of playing. It's based on good song. Uh, good writing, uh, good playing, and um, good. <laughs> well, just I mean the thing is that we're very particular about how we do things. So if we think that we can get a better th uh, atmosphere on a song, then we'll spend maybe a lot, a lot longer than somebody else might spend, and mm -hmm. um, we, we're not easily satisfied. So that's why something that sounds very simple on a record. It might have taken quite a long time to get to that simplicity. It might have gone through many different disguises before it reaches that essence, if you like, essence mm -hmm. of the song. Yeah. Because one of the things that the band's always done is to try and get the best out of the song. So the song has its own life. Yeah. And then you let it go and you leave mm -hmm. it. That's gone now. Yeah. You know. Is anybody home? You are alone. La gente dice que Mark Knopfler es la estrella y tú el cerebro y el contable del grupo. And Mark has a very superficial interest in that kind of stuff, so I tend to take that as being my role to look after those things. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, 
I, it's just part of a team, you know, it's good teamwork. I let him do what he does, and he does that very well, and I get on and do what I do, and it's fine, it works great.